There are mysteries to discover in the most surprising places. And today on At Your Leisure, we're finding some on the shores of the Great Salt Lake, the rainforests of Alaska, and the jagged peaks of the Alps. I'm Chad Booth. First off, follow Rhea and me as we find art in the wilds of northern Utah. From there, Stephen Human finds out what spring looks like in southern Alaska. And finally, Terry Wood competes in the most daunting race in the world. On the outdoors, now with At Your Leisure. I was going to say there's no surf, but there's also not a bunch of green. <laughs> I'm thinking more of the Dead Sea there, honey. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. We are in Box Elder County. We're on our way to a place called the Spiral Jetty. It's a very unusual place, but it's one that is kind of fun to go to, and we are making our journey with some new friends that we have. Yeah, we're with ADSSS. And they are right back there, if you can see them in their great looking rigs. Their, their store is located in West Haven, and they've joined us for this trip on our way to the Spiral Jetty. Now, it's actually a piece of artwork that sits out in the lake. I'm not exactly sure what the guy had in mind when he built it, yeah. but it was his vision. Right, it's really unique. It's just beautiful out here anyway. The lava rock, the mountains, it's really cool out here. True, there's some, some great geography. Our vision today is to take and share that with you. So let's find out a little bit about our friends and the jetty. Oh, the spiral jetty is really a, a great little uh, art piece. Uh, been around since 1970. Not a lot of people locally even know that it's here, but really kind of a fun ride to come out and explore a little bit of Utah. And it's a huge sculptor, it really is. I guess it took six days to, to make with heavy equipment down here. So pretty impressive that it, that it got accomplished. I never would have even thought about doing something like that. I was surprised that it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be, but when you get closer to it, it is bigger. It's so much smaller up close. Look how small it is, Chad. It would have taken a lot of work to get that as big as it is, and I liked it. It's pretty pretty easy riding, uh, improved dirt roads most of the time, uh, so you, you can really come out here in pretty much whatever you want to. Uh, the ride's more about uh, the scenery, lots of beautiful scenery. I mean, when you come around that corner and you see the, the, the north arm of the Great Salt Lake, uh, it really, uh, it impresses on you every time you see it, how, how beautiful it is, that, that kind of, light red pinkish color water. It's really kind of neat. I wasn't thinking it was going to be as pretty as it is. When we first saw the lake around the corner, that was my favorite part. It was really beautiful. And the color, the color of the lake, I wasn't expecting it to be that color. At AD Triple S, we have a passion for off-roading, whether it be dirt biking, side-by-sides, ATVs, or snowmobiling. And so we always go out and play as much as we possibly can playing hooky like we are today and going out and exploring new areas like the Spiral Jetty. Uh, so we just have a passion for it. We can always show new areas to go play in. I think out here there's a lot of desert, but there's also the mountains and the lake. There was so much to see. And it's just something that's different. You know, not, not everybody is, has seen something like this. And so it, it's just you know a fun ad adventure that you could do in a day. Starting to feel like I'm walking around in circles. We're in a jetty, Chad. A spiral one. Yeah, isn't it cool? You know, I'm really glad we actually walked down from the parking lot down here because you don't really get an idea of how big it actually is until you do this. Right, and you know, it really is amazing because this whole landscape changes, obviously, from like the water level. Well, that's true, yeah. I mean, if, yeah. You, if we had two or three more years like this one, you'd probably get that water that's probably a mile out there still, even though it looks like it's next door, Right. up around the jetty. Yeah, let's hope we get another two or three years. Wouldn't that be nice? That's, that's true, that would be great. Yeah, well, you know what? We need to find where Stephen Human is right now. Oh, I know where he is. Where is he? He's in Alaska. Alaska? Yeah, well, you know, spring's right around the corner. And, you know, May is a great time to be there. It is. Coastal Alaska in the spring, it's not just snow. He gets all the luck. Are those ants out there on the jetty? No, Chad, those are people. Oh, good, because I've never heard of a yellow ant before. <laughs> they are kind of far out there, <laughs> they though. They are. 
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the Promontory Mountain Range. That tip right there is called Promontory Point, which most of you have heard in a history book if you're from Utah. Now, in between where we are and those points are, there are ghost towns, there are mountain passes, there's a railroad grade, there are the water pump, there are all these things yeah. that you can do when you're exploring by ATV in Box Elder County. We were lucky to have two of the most knowledgeable ATV guides in the county, Ted and Lyle, and they're going to tell us what we could see in the day's adventure. We just barely came out here to the spiral jetty. And beyond here, in fact, just west of here, there's the hog ups. You can actually stage over here at Kelton, which is a ghost town. And you can go down along the, the hog ups and come across just the, the, the very north end of the Salt Lake right here and get to Bangator's pumps. That's about a 105 mile ride. And then further from there, there's a, you can get on the old railroad grade. And there, there are a bunch of historic ghost towns to go across there that are quite interesting. You can end up in Devil's Playground, and there's a pretty ride up there on top of that. And just past that, there's City of Rock. So there's, it's easy riding out here, flat, and uh, if you're looking for an easy ride, this is where to come. It's a hidden gem once you get out here. And it's a different type of scenery that you usually never see. It's the different end of the Great Salt Lake and with the lava rock that are here and the volcanic type and then you go and get up on top of the mountain and you've got pine trees and then when you get out in the mountains and you realize there's a lot of land and territory out here that i don't think many people realize how big it really is if, if you're looking for a certain type of ride this is where to come well obviously you could park yourself in corinne or brigham city and you could spend more than a day out here because we've just scratched the surface with all these riding opportunities that you've seen. And people who fly over the lake wonder why all of a sudden there's this straight line across the lake and it looks kind of normal lake-like on the south end. It's kind of bluish green. And then over the line, it's like pink water. It's because that part of the lake is totally isolated and the water can't mix. So it's a lot saltier up here in excess of 30% salt. It's almost at a complete saturation level, it's soupy even in the summer. But you know, we do have to go to our trailhead, which is brought to you every week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Okay, this is so exciting because Terry Woods bring us the story. And you know, usually we kind of think of Terry as kind of a laid back kind of guy, you know, but but he's he kind of is dialed into extreme sports. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, this competition, it starts right here in Utah, but it ends in the Alps. I've only done this one other time. <laughs> and you didn't crash that time either. <laughs> oh my gosh. We had one heck of a happy day today. Thanks to James and Braden from 80 Triple S and mm -hmm. Lyle and Ted. It has been an extremely fun day, a little dust on the glasses. Okay, let's take a minute to tell you how to get out here. Make your way to Brigham City, you look for Highway 13. You go west on Highway 13 to the town of Corinne. And after you get through Corinne, you start following signs to the Golden Spike National Historic Site, worth the visit in and of itself. Go about three miles past you. I mean, you literally go past the driveway of the historic site and you keep going. And, and about three miles down the road, you'll see this kind of clearing with a bunch of cows around. That's where you stop, unload your ATVs. And from there, you can go over hill, over dell. You can hit the dusty trail. And we did all that and today. And we did all that today. <laughs> And, uh, and, and that does lead us to the fact that there were several bends that we went around. Yeah. And that's where you find your next adventure. It is just around the bend. But you can't see it unless you get out there and create your own adventure. At your leisure. Really cool place to go if you want to just buy all kinds of bells and whistles for your unit. <laughs> How many people want bells and whistles for their unit? Raise your hand. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.